Welcome back, everyone. It is December 15th, 1941. We're here with another episode of Alphabet Command, our co-op game of War in the Pacific, featuring Evoken and I as the allies versus our new opponent, uh, War in the Pacific legend Andy Mack. Let's see what this turn has in store for us. Our ASW action around here, around Osthaven. As these groups react to each other, they spot the subs and then the uh, groups move to intercept. Hopefully, we'll see some uh, combat reports because of that. Right now, we just have a lot of movement back and forth here. A whole lot of movement. No attacks, which is very strange. Amphibious unloading still at Johnston Island here. Couple hits on the AMC Hokato Maru. And the second TF unloading as well. Unloading at Guam and Sarong. You can see the Carrier Task Force right here, moving to the southwest. Not sure exactly where he's going, possibly going to raid Soriyaba. I'm not sure. SW attack here. Wow, lots of escorts in that group. And the Tau Tau gets caught at uh, Kona. Those shore hexes are always really risky for subs, and it takes three hits. Onto the night air phase. Wenheims go after the Kuantan airfield. The zeros there are making it difficult for us to actually uh, do any damage, though. That's the only one that managed to fly. S40 tangles with uh, Task Force here in an ASW attack. And this time, depth charges are dropped on it, but it looks like it gets away without damage. Oh, so we have Bombardment of Kandari. It's like mostly cruisers here. Not a lot of coastal guns firing back here, but really just minor damage. Some good runway hits he got there, but the uh, ground forces aren't uh, affected too much. And part of that is because the moonlight's only at 3%, so very, very little moonlight makes it tougher for those night bombardments to do damage.
Pentecostal Guns at uh, Johnson Island put three hits on the Salt Maru, which is suffering from heavy fires and heavy damage. And we have a fast transport uh, TF unloading at uh, Kandari. This time it looks like our coastal guns get involved a little bit more. Uh, doing a couple of hits to these cruisers, not really doing much damage to the invasion task force. Very light casualties unloading. And unloading at Guam as well. So, lots of this unfamous unloading taking a lot of time here today. Sarong, Kandari, Guam, Johnston Island. Alright, looks like we're going to be moving on to the uh, daytime naval phase. ASW attacks near Oosthaven again where we have all these groups reacting to all these submarines. Uh, looks like we are placing some hits uh, on the I-163. Ah, just one, unfortunately. Another attack on the I-86. No hits, unfortunately. And no hits on the I-156 either. Again, no hits. Um, good that we're making these attacks, though, keeping pressure on these uh, subs. 56 casualties there as they unload at Kandari. And some hits on this LSD, which is nice to see, on fire and heavy damage. And on this AKL as it unloads. It's probably be the last turn that Johnston Island is in our hands. I imagine he'll take the base today. Uh, yesterday he took it from three forts to zero. Oh, S-40, unfortunately, is not able to land that to torpedo in this group near Camera Bay. Looks like an invasion task force with all these LSDs. Not sure where it's headed. And is that a second invasion task force? I don't think it's the same one. Maybe it is. Porpoise isn't able to connect. It's probably because of the Mark 14 torpedo. And same with the Sea Wolf. Our Dutch subs haven't done anything today. I'm kind of disappointed. Again, PT boats there near Kona. Voking continues to try to get them among those invasion task forces. And we lose one PT vote. Salmon uh, says it looks like it missed with its first torpedoes and said screw it, surfaced and engaged with uh, um, its guns and finally landed three torpedo hits on the uh, Johor Maru. It's going to be in trouble. Uh, three torpedo hits. I imagine it's going to go down. Yeah, we hear the ship sinking sound. So good job to that uh, submarine. More ASW action here. Near Kona. And yeah, those PT boats do not do well with that. Seal also uh, services 
put some uh, shell hits on the Kuratake Maru. This tells me that Avokin did a really good job in probably replacing some of these early sub commanders with very aggressive ones, and then doing a good job. Um, in the early game, the Mark 14 torpedo for American subs is such a um, hindrance that it's so important to put aggressive commanders on your American submarines so they actually surface and engage even if their torpedoes don't work. And that's exactly what's happening. On to the air operations phase. That's a little ASW. Looks like he has an invasion force right off of uh, uh, Borneo there looking to uh, go after Sinkoang, and a little sweeping there at uh, Malacca, taking out one demon. But I don't have much cap there, so he's not going to uh, be able to pick up the easy kills that he did last time. I sweep Groot Natona. I thought that the carriers there were maybe going to project that, but instead they're right down here near Sinkawang, uh, ready to uh, invade. So I'm not going to be able to pick up kills with my sweeps either. Here we have some sweeps, some uh, sweeps that are encountering some resistance. Some Oscars and some Tojos. Uh, inconclusive there as my Burgoos do not pick up any kills. We have some Moraines coming in as well, maybe they'll engage. They do, though it doesn't look like it's going well for us. Yeah, we lose two planes, unfortunately, and are not able to uh, not able to uh, do any damage there. And another loss. Not sure why we're having such a hard time with these sweeps this turn compared to last. Kates okay, go after Pearl Harbor, and they just do a single runway hit and lose a Kate to Flak there. And wow, he has already stationed Japan's heavy bomber, the G5 N2 Liz, uh, at Kona and goes after the runway there. Minimal damage, but the fact that, probably because of the severe storms in the hex, the fact that he already has his heavy bomber with a very, very long range uh, stationed at Hawaii is a little bit scary. More carrier attacks at Johnston Island. Lots of losses there. Look at all those losses. Um, yeah, Johnston Island will fall this turn. This time it looks like he's sweeping us the other way around here. It's still not going well for us. Yeah, not able to do any damage. Oh, there goes a Tojo. There's another Tojo. But still, not what we like to see. We lose five aircraft. He only loses two. And bombing at Medan, going after... Uh, looks like our ground force is there, doing a little light damage. Uh, Lily's go after Queen Chowan, uh, but without escorts and. They only do a single runway hit while losing seven lilies. Oscar Sweep taking out one of our hurricanes.
and uh, some Dorniers come in to try to uh, attack that task force, but one gets destroyed by uh, those carrier aircraft. And again. And again. Yeah, none of them are getting through, unfortunately. Well coordinated bombing run here at uh, Vicente Loque. 213 casualties. A nice little job there. Oh, and this is not going to go well. After uh, those sweeps, um, I hope to ha have uh, really uh, hurt his cap a little bit more than it was before these bombers went in. Uh, but now these uh, wildebeest are going to be cleaned up. Yeah. Lose a buffalo and two wildebeest. Too much cap on the hex. Again, this time escorted by VR-697s, they might do a better job. Nope, uh, they get through though. Get through and it looks like they are doing a good job. Uh, going after the ships there uh, at Sama. Looks like we lose two Glen 167s, one BR-697, and put three bombs uh, into the AKL Nisa Nauru. Uh, doing uh, heavy fires and heavy damage there. Sally's continue to go after Medan to no effect. sweeping, maybe this group will have a little bit more luck. It does. I think because uh, maybe those squadrons uh, of defenders had uh, um, been going after my bombers, they were at a lower altitude, and so the sweep takes out three aircraft to no losses of her own. Doesn't make up for earlier losses, but it helps. Have a, a ship sinking noise. I don't think it was one of ours. We're on to the PM air phase. Carrier bombing of Gundari. Ah, they don't seem to do any damage. And two of those Kates go down. That's nice to see. Be interesting to see if you brought enough to Kendari. Uh, zeros this time are escorting uh, this group, so they're not going to get through. Unfortunately, Catalinas aren't able to attack that task force. Uh, Betty's try to bomb um, our ships at. Uh, Ball and put two torpedoes in our mine later, the Bungary, and sink it. That's really unfortunate. Um, I'm disappointed that our 45 buffaloes were not, not able to make contact. I wonder if they were just too high. Yeah. Well, this one wasn't, right? So these buffaloes patrolling at 10,000 should have been able to to uh, to intercept a little bit better. The ones at 20,000, I understand why they didn't, but yeah, disappointing. That's it for the air phase, it looks like. I'm gonna have a little more amphibious unloading here. And our ground combat phase. Hello! 
shock attack at Timolo causes uh, our base force there to uh, surrender. Wasn't able to uh, rail down to uh, uh, Singapore in time, sadly. Liberty attack at Hilo. It's a 1 to 6 odds. Um, so Hilo is holding out okay, which is nice. Um, it is going to be low on supply. And once that supply runs out, uh, uh, Hilo will be in trouble. Deliberate attack at Guam gets 1 to 2 odds, still doing a lot of damage uh, to our allied defenders here. Um, but it looks like uh, Guam may hold on another turn. Yeah, and Johnson Island surrenders. And we lose Johnston. Sarong has a 3 to 1 attack. We take 55 casualties. Japanese don't take any. It will fall next turn. And again, I'm not sure if he brought enough to Kendari. I'm only seeing what, 43 AV there now. We have 131. He might have a follow up uh, landing uh, though as well with more troops. We'll see. Oh, so it looks like a paratrooper drop there at Malacca. Um, that is going to help him out because now he's going to be able to use the rail line to head south um, to Malacca, saving a little bit of time uh, for him. But really, uh, it doesn't cut off any of my troops as uh, they were already uh, south uh, at to Johor Bahru or or Mare Singh. little uh, expansion of uh, bases and things, but yeah, overall, uh, um, interesting turn. I'm concerned about that invasion task force, of course, north of Borneo. Um, I usually like to hang on to northwestern Borneo for a little bit longer. I may not have that option this game. In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the Discord.